a pump, consider it from this dainty point of view. A timid, tender, feminine gender prompt to coyly clue. Yet silent seeking, seldom speaking till she's spoken to. A comfy, cozy, rosy, posy, innocent ingenue. The part you're suited to, to give the deuce his due. A sweet, oh, jiminy, jiminy, pimini, innocent ingenue. I'm much obliged to you, I don't think that would do. To play a jiminy, mimini, pimini, innocent ingenue. You forget my special magic in a high dramatic sense. Lies in situations tragic, undeniably intense. As I justify promotion in the histrionic art, I submit to you my notion of a first rate part. Well, let us see your notion of a first rate part. I have a rival. Frenzy thrilled, I find you both together. My heart stands still with horror chill. Hard as the millstone nether, then soft, slyly, snaily, snaky, creepy, crawly, quaily, quaky. I track her on her homeward way as panther tracks her fainted prey. <sighs> I fly in her soft white throat, the lily white laughing lemon. On her agonized gaze, I gloat with the glee of a dancing demon. <laughs> My rival, she, I have no doubt of her, so I hold on till the breath is out of her. Till the breath is out of her. <laughs> and then remorse, remorse, oh cold, unpleasant corpse, avant, avant, that lifeless form I gaze upon, that face still warm but weirdly worn, those eyes of glass I contemplate, and then Alas, too late, too late, I find she is your aunt. <laughs> then mad, 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 where the fancy's wild chimerical, now sorrowful, silent, sad, Indescribable, I burn with rage. 
night I'm nearly ready to explode. There'll be grief and indignation when I learn to whom this night unbearable is owed. For whatever may be due, I'll pay it double. There'll be terror, indescribable, and trouble with a hurry body and a hubble bubble. I'll pay you for this pretty episode. Whatever may be due, she'll pay it double. It's very good of her to take the trouble, but we don't know what she needs by hubble bubble. No doubt it's an expression all alone. Do you know who I am? I don't. Your countenance, I can't fix, my dear. This proves I'm not a sham. It won't. It only says Krakenfeld six, my dear. Express your grief profound. I shan't. This tone I never allow, my love. Rudolph, it wants produce. I can't. He isn't at home just now, my love. He isn't at home just now. He isn't at home just now. He has an apartment particular very You'll find him, I think, in the town cemetery. And that's how he comes to be making so merry. For he isn't at home just But yesterday that nobleman expired quite unexpectedly. Tolerillo, 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 no, 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 of both effects. Uh, we intend to express inconsolable grief at the decease of the late Grand Duke. <laughs> and a bullying joy at the accession of his successor. <laughs> I am his successor. Uh, permit me to present my Grand Duchess. Your Grand Duchess. We were married only half an hour ago. Exactly. I thought she seemed new to the position. <sighs> Ma'am, I don't know who you are, but I flatter myself I can do justice to any part on the very shortest notice. My dear, under the circumstances you're doing admirably. <laughs> It's so difficult to be a lady when one isn't born to it. Oh. Am I to stand this? Now tell me all about this distressing circumstance. How did the Grand Duke die? Oh, he perished nobly uh, in a statutory duel. A statutory duel? <laughs> but that's only a civil death. And the act expires today, and then he will come to life again. Uh, well, no. Anxious to inaugurate my reign by conferring some inestimable boon upon my people. <laughs> I signalized the occasion by reviving the act for another hundred years. <laughs> another hundred years? Then set the merry joy bells ringing, and let us rejoice today if we never rejoice again. Well, I'm afraid I don't understand. We have already rejoiced a good deal. My happy man, a little you know the good things you are in for. <laughs> when you killed Rudolph, you adopted all of his overwhelming responsibilities. Know then that I, Caroline von Krakenfeld, am the most overwhelming of them all. <laughs> I've just been married to somebody else. Yes, ma'am. To somebody else, ma'am. Do you understand? To somebody else. Do keep that young woman quiet. Do you suppose I intend to give up a magnificent part without a struggle? Uh, she has the law on her side, my good girl. Let us both bear this calamity with resignation. If you must struggle, Go away and struggle in the seclusion of your chamber. There's a dear. <laughs> Music! <laughs> now away to the wedding we go, so let's summon the charioteers. No kind of reluctance we show to embark on our married careers. Though joyous emotions may flow in the form of impetuous tears. To our wedding we eagerly go, so summon, so summon the charioteers. To the wedding we eagerly go, so summon, so summon the charioteers. <laughs> 